eight today. And I've got to start getting into these hives and check on the mites. Mites are a big problem with me right here. As some of you might know, I lost um, one third of my hives last year. I had 30, I lost 10, not got knocked down to 20. And I've since then built back up. But coming into this winter, I want to try to, if I can, reduce the losses down as much as I possibly can. And one way to do that is to control your mites. So I'm going to go up in these hives and I'm going to check. I'm just going to do a couple of spot checks because if you got mites in a couple of them, you got to treat them all. So I'm going to go in a few hives, do a few mite checks, see how the bees are doing and make my decision on how I'm gonna treat. Last year, all I did was a little bit of oxalic acid and I paid the price for that. And I understand the people who do treatment free beekeeping and they accept their losses and they, they just multiply their bees and with swarms and stuff like that and that's fine, I mean, but if you're gonna try to sell nukes and stuff in the the spring, the more hives you got coming out of winter, the more nukes you can sell. Also, the more honey you're going to make that year if you're raising honey hives. So, I'm going to do what I can to save my bees and help my apiary grow or at least stay the same. Um, I've already noticed I, I've lost two hives. They're right over there. Let's see. A sec two second ones um, one swarmed and they didn't requeen well they tried to requeen but the queen didn't come back so they got robbed out the second one I noticed was just getting smaller the queen was failing now why she was failing I don't know I don't know if she failed because of mites or just a bad mating but they uh, I just came home one day and they were gone and they were they were being robbed out. So there wasn't a lot of dead bees in the front of the hive. So I'm assuming that they um, left either from just absconding because they were so small and maybe sick with mites or something like that. But we're gonna check the hives around them and see how bad the mite load is. And we're gonna attack it aggressively this year to try to see how it works out for us. So let me get into a few of these hives and see how well they're doing or how not so well they're doing okay guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in here and look for a brood frame hopefully some open open larva and we're gonna um, get a cup of bees from that open larva matter of fact I'm not even gonna pop this top because this is just a honey box right here I'm gonna try to remove it And then we're gonna, there may be a brood frame or two up in here. Let me pull out this frame right here, outside frame. Got some honey on it. And then I'm gonna go straight closer to the center. And when you're doing this, make sure you don't wash your queen. Okay, this one right here, full of open larva, eggs. Same thing on this side. There's a lot of cap brood, but there's open larva all the way around. So I'm going to look good, make sure my queen's not on here. Sometimes when you put a little smoke on the top, the queens will head down. But I don't see the queen. 
So I'm going to shake that into here. Now the field bees will fly out. And all I'm looking for is about a half a cup. Because if they got mites and a half a cup of bees, same thing here. I got some more open larva and some cat brood. This side's mostly honey. Don't see the queen. Okay. That should be enough there. Got stung in the finger. And you can see all the ones that are staying. Okay. I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna return these bees. Okay, let me put this back in there. Tighten these frames up. The bees are not too bad today. As you can see, I took off my veil. And what I'm gonna do, go in the wrong hive. Put that honey box back on. A little bit of honey, not much. Okay, I made a goofball mistake. I forgot to clean out my little bucket. So when I dumped my bees in there, there was a lot of trash. Not that you could really see, but once you put it in the shaker, you can see all the trash. But I got other problems. I got trash. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there are a lot of mites in there. I think I got at least 10 or 20 in there. It's hard to see with the trash, but there are more mites than should be in a hive. So I'm gonna test another one with a clean bucket and that'll give me a better count on what I got. But so far, too many mites. Okay, let's try this again. We're in a different hive this time. Give them a little smoke. Pull out this first frame. Give me some space. Let's go to the center. These plastic frames don't move as easy as the wooden ones because they bend. Okay. Always make sure you got enough space to pull out your... Okay, I got a little bit of everything right here. I got some... Cat brood, larva, and eggs on the outside. So this is another good frame. Same thing on this side. So I'm looking for the queen. Okay, I don't see my queen on this one. So I'm gonna shake them down. This time I'm gonna put my bucket over the right beehive. And I get stung on the thing every time I do that. 
Okay, let's look for another one. Let's see here. This one's mostly cat brood. Same thing on this one, so I don't want this one. Well, I see the next one has open brood. They're backfilling that too. Okay, I'm gonna look for my queen. And this is just to get a second opinion on the on the mites. That last hive had way too many mites. Okay, I'm gonna shake down these bees. Take out all the the um, field bees out of there. Okay, I got about a half a cup of bees. Put them in there. Give them a quick, quick stir to dispatch them kind of quick. And I'm gonna set this back in there. Okay guys, from what I can tell, I've got 14 mites in that half a cup of bees. Shook them up. So I got just way too many mites. If I leave them at this high, going into the fall and winter, I'm just gonna have a bunch of dead bees. So if I want to save these hives, I'm going to have to treat and I'm going to have to treat aggressive because being that I lost so many hives last year, this was one that absconded right here and they didn't abscond because of hive beetles. They just left, I'm thinking because they were sick with mites because there's no, there was no sliming of the, of the hives. I mean, the cone are all in perfect shape. So I'm thinking they were just sick. Well, this one right here swarmed. And they lost that queen. Because I've seen swarm cells in there. But this one absconded. There were no dead bees on the outside that I could see. But they just left. Okay, so. It's hot out here, guys. Make sure y'all drink plenty of water with this heat. I'm trying to work these few little hives right here that are in the shade and it's still 95 degrees but with that said this year if I want to save my bees and keep the same amount or close to the same amount of hives I'm gonna to have to treat so I'm gonna take an aggressive approach on it this year what I plan on doing within the next day or so maybe even this afternoon is hit them with some oxalic acid for some uh, immediate relief of the existing mites and then i'm gonna try i bought some um, pads to make some oxalic o oxalic acid pads and i'm gonna put in each hive and then when the temperatures start to drop a little bit i'm gonna hit them with some um apigard and try that i've ne never tried apigard but i'm gonna hit them with the apigard this year so, um, with that being said, I got to do something to save these bees this year. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Cajun Homestead. Catch you on the next one.